hey guys welcome to this video all right so in this video what's going to happen is we are going to convert this csv data into a .json data type okay so we're going to use python to do that and um i just wanted you to understand what's what this data entails before we proceed so this is um a world rank of universities okay i think it's, it's global so world rank of universities so we have the name the rank for the university its name the country so we have all these other um information regarding each of the um, universities okay um so we are going to try to put them all into um a dot json um format okay yeah all right so let's proceed i'm going to open my ide i use spider anaconda if you are following if you follow my videos if you have not been following my videos well this is a good time to follow my videos and um, i i teach a lot about python and um i hope to be able to impact some knowledge in you all right so let's see we are going to first use um, pandas to read our excel okay this is a csv we're going to use pandas to read our csv data and after we read our csv data we manipulate it to remove then these these um these um what do I mean empty values okay if there are any empty values we remove them and then after that we will be able to start doing what we have to do so i'm going to close it so that we have right access to it okay i'm going to close it here and first of all i'm going to copy the file path of this data so I'm going to press on shift and I'll right click on it. I have this option where is it? Copy as path here. Okay, so I'm going to say data path. Okay. And I'm going to say arrow and paste it here. Okay. So this arrow is very important. Don't ignore it. It tells the interpreter that it's not just any string, but it's a file path. Alright, so let's proceed. We will need Okay, I prefer to do all my imports at the topmost part of the script. So I'll import pandas. Pandas as pd usually. Okay, so we will now proceed. So now let's try to read our data. So I'm going to say data equals to um, pd.read. So it's a CSV. So I'm going to say pd.read CSV. And I'm going to say read from this data part. Okay. Now we could print it to see the data, but I'm sure it's okay. Okay, let's just print it. So we know we are on track. It's very long, so I'm sure it's going to summarize them. Okay, good. It has summarized them here. You could you could say that describe. I think without the okay, let's, let's run this and see. But describe. Okay, so this is a summary of our data here. Okay, so now let's proceed now that we've seen that our connection is made and we can read from it i'm just going to take away the print function and now what we're going to do is we're going to take each data type so okay i still want to see something i want to see all the columns so data.columns um i want to see all the columns so that i can call them okay so i'm going to run um columns sorry columns okay so we have all these columns whoa that's so many so we have all these columns here Okay, so now let's start by calling the columns one by one. My interpreter is taking time to respond. Ignore it. Okay, so I'm going to start by saying rank. Okay, equals to data dot world rank. Now, this data dot world rank means that inside the data file, look for the world rank heading or the world rank column. Okay, that's what this means. So if I I could print it and I'll see the data dot world rank, but I want to maintain these things, so I don't want to take them away. Okay, so university name. So I could say uni uni name here. It calls to data dot. I guess you have seen the pattern now. University name. University. Oh, university name. Oops, underscore name. What's next? Country. Country is country, right? So now that we've got all the columns figured out, we can now proceed to create um, our object. Okay, so our our what's the name? We can now proceed to create what we call a dictionary. 
So with this, I'm going to um, create a, an empty dictionary. Okay, I'm going to call it data set. I'm going to call it dictionary. Container. And we use the curly brackets for a container, okay, or a dictionary. Now, I'm going to find a way to loop through these um, headings, and I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to, what's the name? I'm going to try to loop through them, and I'm going to start appending each of them to the container, okay? So I'm going to append each category to the container. So there are two ways of doing that. You could use the for loop for, for what's the name? Um, for, let's say, I in rank, and then for, for A in university, etc, etc. But I don't want to do it that way, because um, sometimes it may crash, especially if it has different um, number of elements okay so i'm just going to try start by printing um i want to see the number of elements in each column okay so i'm going to say print the length of remember there are lists so each of these are a list so i'm going to say print the length of rank and then let's see what we get it's about 2603 um, um rows or fields wasn't it records for for this particular column let's try instead of ranks i just want to confirm to see if they have the same number of um, elements okay same okay countries have the same how about the years okay so as you can see they have the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run through each of them and by doing that i'll be appending so let's let's start i'm going to use a while statement okay so first i'll start by saying let x be equals to zero then i'll say well x is less than the length of um, you pick any of them. Let's say length of what university name, uni, uni name. Okay, so this is going to run through them. And at the end of the day, I want to add one to x. So I'll just say x equals to one plus x. Okay, or x plus one. Okay, so it's going to keep appending what we have in x until it reaches that two thousand and sixty six six uh, two thousand six hundred and three elements okay the third one the last one okay so in the middle of this code what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to start appending okay so i'm going to say um this data set is called container here so i'm going to say this container and how do you add elements to um to a dictionary you use this notation okay then you give the name of the uh, the, the elements but in this case i'm going to instead of using this i'm going to say uni name uni name it's an L it's um, a list so i'm going to say x i'll explain this code very really soon it calls to so what's happening is that this x right now is zero and it's going to compare it's going to compare so it's still less than the length of the university which is 2603 now what it's going to do is it's going to take the zeroth element okay of the uni name and assign it as the name of the container the first um, element in the container and after it assigns it, you know, dictionary work, works with key values. So that's how a dictionary naturally works. If there were supposed to be elements here, we'll say, let's say KNUSD. Then we have um, S. Then I'll have a list of, maybe I'll have um, rank. I'll say first rank. It has a rank of, then maybe, um, what's the name? What are the other parameters we have? Country, we'll say it's in Ghana. Um, what else? year i'll say 2021 etc okay so that if i come to another one i'll say um umat so if i come to another one if i want to add another element i'll say something like this umat then i'll add its elements to it too but instead of hard coding it what i want to do is i want to allow the interpreter to do that for me so i'll say the name of the element as from the university name then i'll assign it to these um, values okay so first i'll say I know it's going to be very long, so I'm going to break it down like this. So I'll say it's equals to. Let's start by rank, okay? I'll say rank of x, comma. Uni name. Or maybe I should start with the uni name again. No, it's okay. So rank of x, comma country.
Now, this is okay for us. What's this? What is the issue? Okay, it's fine. Alright, so this is okay for us. At the end of the day, we are going to print it. Okay, so let's try it by printing. When it's done, it should show us what the container is. Okay. So let's just run this and see what we get. Alright. So now, as you can see, this is the name of the university. Okay. And this, these are its parameters. Everything here. All the way to the end here. This is the beginning of another university. So you can see that these numbers really they don't make a lot of sense. Okay, you don't know what these numbers represent. So instead of representing them by a list of these, I'm going to um I'm going to represent them by what's the name? Another dictionary. So we are going to have a dictionary inside a dictionary so that we will have dictionary names. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me here. So I'm going to say convert this into a dictionary into a dictionary like this. And I'll say, what was that again? That was rank, right? So I'll say rank is, and I'll give a space, and I'll put what that rank was, okay? Then I'll convert this also into a dictionary. That was country. Country. So because they're strings, make sure I put them inside a string. Okay, so country is, give a space, and then I'll give what the country was. Teaching. I hope you get why we are converting it into a dictionary, okay? So that we don't have to imagine what those numbers stand for. Income. Oh, I just realized I've not been putting comma at the end of each um, income as this way. Comma like this. Total as this way. Total what? That was total score, right? And you say total score and add the underscore so it will not have any issues. Um, I think I should have been column here okay what's next that was what <sighs> forgot what I what it was uh, I'm gonna paste it back and see what it was number of students okay so number of students number of students um oh please a comma with a column okay these comments are supposed to be columns comments are supposed to be columns okay that makes Yeah, if you're working with a lot of data sets, that's what you usually encounter. So stick with me. Alright, so okay, so one thing is after we adding comma to each of them. So in order to separate each element, it's important to add a comma to it so that the interpreter knows where to end for each element. I'll just shift it back oh, back here. Comma. And finally comma. The rest have been added already. Okay, so now let's try that again and see. Now it makes more sense. So if you take a particular institution, which one do you take? Let's see. Um, um, okay, so this is a university. The Kohama National University, okay. So you see, as you can see here, it has given a rank. This is the rank. The country. This is the country. Teaching. This is the teaching. As you can see, so it makes more sense like this. If you organize your data this way, it makes more sense. All right. So now, we, now that we've done... The organization of the data this is basically the difficult part of the whole thing so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to convert our um container into a data frame a data frame is like um, an excel sheet basically so let's say df standing for data frame it calls to container no pd sorry pd dot data frame like this okay and when we are done we will put our container inside like this let's print df so it, you see it makes more sense than what you are seeing here Okay, so as you can see, it, it's, it tries to arrange the data in some kind of table form. Let me play the previous one and then just run the 
the file again. Okay, so as you can see, it tries to create, it tries to put it inside some kind of uh, table. The data is so much, it's not able to. You see, as you can see, it has cropped part of it. Okay, but this is basically what we want. Now that we have it, so this, this is um, Harvard University, and then its information we've added. So now let's try to convert this into um, a JSON file. Okay, so what some people would have done is they would have imported JSON, import JSON. And, but I, I, if you are using Pandas already, you don't need to do all this. Pandas is very sophisticated. It allows you to be able to do this. Now, we just need to create another file path, okay? A file path that um, tells Python where to save your JSON file at. Okay, so I'm just going to um, create another file path. I'll put it inside. Let's say I'll put it one step at the back. Okay. Because one was okay. I'll put it here and I'll call it um, university info.json. Okay, like this. Investing for the .json. It's very important to add this part because it has to Python and um, Pandas will not know how to name it. So you have to add the name of the file and also the extension you want it to be. Okay. So that now that we've done it, I I would just say df dot um to then to um not to csv to json. Okay, like this to json. Okay, good to json. And I'll give it the path. Okay. It's called path what? This is it's also called data path. So I'll say output path so that there's a difference okay output path out path okay so export it to out path like this and um you might want to give it an indent so let's give it an indent of uh, by default indent is good if it's four sorry indent of four oh indent of four like this so i've given it the indent is optional but this file path is, is compulsory so give it a file path and then you want so let's try that all right, so it's done running. Let's look for um, inside the JSON. As you can see, this is it here. University info here. So let's try to open it. Um, with, let's open it with red pad. Good. It's still, it's still opening. Okay, good. So as you can see, this is for Harvard University. And this is its rank, the country, teaching, international, research, so these are the marks they've obtained for all these ones. Okay, that's the mark they've obtained. Um, student ratio, population, etc., 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 up to the year, and then another university takes place, etc., etc., etc. So it's really quite simple. The only part that took most of your time, that might take most of your time, is the data organization. Okay, if they were just three, you see, we wouldn't have taken so much time if they were just three um, pieces of information. But um, they, are, they were actually more and most of the times if you are doing with anything practical this is how large your data set is going to be so i suggest you get used to it okay so now that we'll be able to export it that's the end of this video if you're new to this channel i want to encourage you to subscribe to it um if you have any questions regarding this you can leave your questions in the comment section if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like on it so that others will be able to find it also and if you want to see my next video so you want to subscribe See you in the next videos. Bye.